All right, this is your unit five review for sixth grade math. So it says, in Mr. Mullinax's class, 25 students took a survey about the U.S. city they hope, uh, they most hope to visit. So how many students want to visit Austin? So you gotta pay attention to is that these are not the number of students, these are the percentages. So if you, on your paper, you wanna go write percentage, 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 because it's, it's not wrong, because it tells you what it, that it is a percentage, but it helps you if you write the percentage back to it to realize that's a percentage. Because you know a percentage always goes over 100. So in this case, since we're trying to figure out how many students want to go to Austin, we're looking at Austin, which is 32%. And we're going to use our part over whole is equal to percent over 100. So our part is the number of students who want to go to Austin. So we don't know what that is. Our whole is a total of 25 students. And our percentage is 32 over 100. So you're going to cross multiply. So you're going to do um, 25 times 32 all to the side. Oops, looks weird. And just to save some time, it comes out to exactly 800. So then you're going to take the 100 and divide 100 and 800 and you get 8. So that means that there are 8 students who want to go to Austin. Alright, number 2. Andrew has a picture frame with a width of 10 inches and a height of 12. Okay, so here's his picture frame. It has a width of 10 which is your W, and a height of 12. Write a proportion that can be used to calculate the dimensions of a smaller frame with a 5 inches that is similar to the larger one. Okay, so we have a smaller frame, and the width is 5, but we don't know his height. So what we're going to do is going to calculate a proportion. So this is the one I'm missing. So I would write H over 12, because they go together, 5 over 10. And that's all you need to do on that one. You don't need to actually solve it. Okay, right, number two. The table shows a number of votes for various types of music as preferred by the students for Miss Stewart's music class. Write a ratio that reflects the votes for rock music to the votes for country music. So rock, country. Since rock was first, you write that first, and then country is last, so you write three over four. Remember, there's three ways to write this. You can write three over four, or three colon four, or three, two, four. All right. Express 75% as a fraction in lowest terms. So as I told you before, a percentage always goes over 100. And this is how what you were doing on that pixel art. So this would be 75 over 100. But now we need to express in lowest terms. So to do that, you need to simplify. And to simplify, you need to find a number that's divisible in the numerator and the denominator. So a little trick that we know is that if they're both even, you can divide by 2. Well, 75 is not even. But there's also another trick, is if they end in a 5 or a 0, they're divisible by 5. So the numerator ends in a 5, and the denominator ends in a 0. So it means you can divide the top and the bottom by 5. So you're going to do 75 divided by 5, which is 15. And then 100 divided by 5, which is 20. Okay, so that's still not the lowest forms, because... 5 and 0 again, so you're going to divide by another 5. So you get 3 fourths is your lowest term. You could also realize that that, that was the fraction because of 75%. 3 fourths is 75 cents. All right, the probability of an event is 14%. What is 14% expressed as a decimal? So we're going to change 14% to a decimal by using Dr. Pepper. So DP, this is your percent, so we're right here, and we got to go to the left. But since there's two letters, we got to go 
two to the left. So we're going to start in the back of the 14 and move two to the left. So we get 0.14, or as we say, 14 hundredths. A slug can move about six feet in 60 minutes. How many minutes does it take for the snail to move one foot? So you have a ratio of six feet for 60 minutes. They want to know how, how long it will take them to move one foot. Well, you can cross multiply and divide. So one times 60 is just 60, and then divide that by six, and you get 10. So it'll take them 10 minutes. It's a very slow slug. <laughs> right, number seven, Amanda has 18 model planes and 72 model cars. Write a ratio of the number of cars to the number of planes. So since cars went first, and 72, 72 goes on top over 18. So we're going to write a ratio, but it needs to be simplified. So we're going to see how many times that 18 can go in 72 if it goes in there nicely. So 72 divided by 18 actually comes out to exactly 4. So my ratio gets simplified down to 4 over 1. Miss Tiffy has 23 students. There are 13 females. Write the ratio of males to females. So females will definitely go on the bottom because that's 13. But my problem is I don't know how many males I have. So I know my total number of students is 23, and I'm going to subtract the females from that, so then I have 10 left over. So then I have 10 males. Okay, number nine. The diagram shows Eli's budget for a trip he's planning. Eli budgeted $320 for meals during his trip. What's his total budget for the trip? So again, we're going to do part over whole equals percent over 100. So our part is $320 for meals. So you write 320 and you're trying to find the total. So you're trying to find the whole. And the meals represents 10%. So it'd be 10 over 100. So you're gonna do 32 times, a, three, excuse me, 320 times 100. Or you can just do 32 times one, which is 32, and add three zeros on the back. And you divide that by 10, and you get um, 3,200. So that means that Eli's bat budget is $3,200. In move a survey, a movie surveyed a sample of customers about their favorite genre of movie, a movie theater, excuse me. 75% or 40 customers selected comedy as their favorite genre. How many customers did the movie sur theater survey? All right. So again, we're going to be doing part over whole is equal to percent over 100. So 40 people selected comedy out of an unknown total. That 40 people is 75% out of the 100% that were surveyed. So you're going to cross multiply and divide. So you're going to do 40 times 100 or 4 times 1 and you get 4 and add 3 zeros and then divide 75 into that. So you're going to do 4,000 divided by 75. Unfortunately, it does not come out to a nice number. On your test, it should be. I must have messed that number up somehow. So then you get 53.3 repeating. So it would be about 53 people. So you can round that up to about 53 or 54 people. A local store is selling five bags of Takis for $4.57. Find a scale factor that can be used to calculate the cost of 15 bags of Takis. So basically what it's asking, um, so you have this ratio of $4.57 for every five bags. And you're going to increase that to 15 bags. So they want to know, what did you multiply by five to get to that 15 bags of Takis? Well, it's three. So your scale factor is three. And that's, that's the only answer that they're asking for. Um, Mr. Kinsbury is mailing a package that weighs 10.5 pounds. The post office charges by the ounce to a mail 
a package. How much does the package weigh in ounces? So um, you have your star chart and know that one pound equals 16 ounces. So I would write that one over 16. So this is pounds, this is ounces. So this is 10.5 on top because it's pounds over X. So you're going to do 10.5 times 16. And you get 168 ounces. And I will have the star chart out, um, provided for you all on, as a paper copy. All right, 13. On Monday during lunch, the school cafeteria served 15 gallons of water. How many cups um, are in 15 gallons? So um, what you need to do is you need to, again, pull up your star chart. So I'm going to pull up ours. All right, so this is your star chart. So we're trying to figure out how many cups are in one gallon. So you can see that um, one gallon is four quarts, but it doesn't tell us what the cup it is. And we do know one quart is two pints and one pint is two cups. So what we, we got to do is we got to bring all the cups up to the quarts. So if one pint is two cups and one quart is two pints, that means this is four cups. And then if one gallon is four quarts and one quart is four cups, this would be 16 cups. So you would write one gallon over 16 cups. So then you would have 15 gallons over X. So you're going to do 15 times 16 which comes out to 240 cups. A movie theater marks up the price of popcorn five and a half times the original cost. Excuse me, 15 and a half times the original cost. What is 15 and a half as a percent and as a decimal? So this is what you have, okay? That's a mixed fraction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to a decimal first because I find that the easiest. So this is just 15.5 or 15.50 as a decimal. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Dr. Pepper and change the decimal to a percent. So here I'm, I'm on the left and I got to go to, to the right. So I'm going to take this decimal and move it to, to the right. And you get 1,550%. Oops, that's a really small zero. Sorry, y'all. All right, number 15. Nuka Cola manufactures a soft drink made with 0.5% pineapple juice. What is the percent expressed as a fraction and a decimal? Well, you actually have this exact percentage on. Um, that pixel art and so you need to change that to a um to a fraction and a decimal first so what i found easier is to take this percentage and change it to a decimal by using dr pepper so here i'm on the right this time and i got to move two to the left so i'm going to move it two to the left so i get 0 0.005 as my decimal or in other terms this is five thousandths because this is the thousands place. And the reason why it's very important to understand that is because now I know that to write that as a fraction, I can write that as five over a thousand. And then I need to simplify it. And since they both share a five in common, divide them both by five and you get one over 200. So these are your answers. And this is what you, the one over 200 is what you got on your pixel art. All right. 16, for every 18 games to Wolfpack, the baseball team won, they lost five. Write a ratio uh, that correctly compares the number of games won to the number of games lost. So they won 18 and they lost five. And that's a ratio. 17, 
A Hunt County, um, Hunt County with an area of 625 square miles has a population of 9,375. Find the rate that represents the relationship between the population of the county and the area of the county. So you have the population 9,375 over 625. So what you want to do is figure out um, how many people are in one square mile. So you're going to divide 625 into 9,375. So 9,375 divided by 625 is 15. So for every one square mile in Hunt County, there's 15 people. At Central Market, Kelly filled a bag with coffee. The bag of coffee weighed 14 ounces and cost $5. Write a proportion that can be used to find X, the cost of 8 ounces of the same coffee. So you have $5 over 14 ounces. And you're going to actually buy 8 ounces. So you want to know that cost. And that's your proportion. That's all it's asking for. It's not asking you to solve it. A bucket contained 15 gallons of water. Water is leaking out of the bucket at a rate of 2 gallons every 4 days. At this rate, how many? Sorry, y'all. Not sure why my spell check didn't catch that. How many days did it take for all 52 gallons of water to leak out of the barrel? So you have um, 52 gallons in four days. Oh, excuse me. That's not my rate. I apologize. So in, you do two gallons every four days. That's much better. Two gallons in four days. And you want to lose all 52 gallons. So you write 52 on top and X on, goes on the bottom. So you're going to do 52 times 4, which is 208. So then you're going to divide that by 2. And 208 divided by 2 is 104. So it means it will take them 104 days to lose all the water. <laughs> All right, 20. A car washer cleaned 45 cars in five hours. At this rate, how many cars did he clean in eight hours? So your rate right now is 45 over five hours. And you're trying to figure out how many cars you need in eight. So you're going to do 45 times eight, which is 360. And then you're going to divide five into 360. And you get 72. So it means that he can clean 72 cars in eight hours. All right, that's your review. Um, I, you know, did it fast because I didn't want to make it a 30 minute long video. So if you do find this video too fast, remember you can always change the settings um, to play it at a slower speed or you can always pause it when needed. All right, thank you guys.